I'm back and it's story time. So it all started about two years ago. One fine afternoon, I hear a knock on the door and my grandma gets it. But the thing is, most people who knock on our door speak English and she doesn't. So, you know, naturally I stepped in and I'm just like, what do you people want? And at the door there were two people. There was a man, he looked like he was in his like mid to late 20s, maybe early 30s. And this woman who looked like she was definitely in her 40s. And the man was just like, oh, you know, see this woman right here? She needs prayer. You know, we need, we need someone to pray for her. She needs prayer. She was abused and assaulted by her boyfriend and da 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 like a bunch of stuff. And she, like, tried to look, she tried her best to look really distressed, right? And I don't really remember exactly what I said, though, because, like I said, it was two years ago. And then, you know, all of a sudden, they started talking about how pretty I was. They're like, oh my gosh, you're so pretty. You're so beautiful. And I'm just like, haha, thanks. Okay still here and they were like oh my gosh whoops, you're so pretty what's your name and it was the guy who specifically asked what my name was and I was like <laughs> Tiffany which is not my real name for anybody who knows my real life um and he was just like oh Tiffany that's pretty Tiffany and then he proceeds to call me Tiff as if as if he as if he knew me I'm just I remember thinking um Tiffany may not be my name but who gave you the right to call me Tiff I didn't say it was Tiff it's Tiffany okay like Tiff who are you I just met you you cannot call me Tiff you do not get Tiff rights I don't know you like that anywho he asked me if I have a Facebook I'm like no which again was a lie because like the whole situation seemed really 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 sketchy right because my dad is a pastor so them asking for prayer wasn't completely random I assumed they were looking for him but he wasn't home and they were so and and also they never they they never mentioned my dad it would be one thing if they mentioned him they're like oh you know where's the pastor or whatever but they never mentioned him you know they just randomly knocked at our door asking for prayer now this isn't like so i was watching this video yesterday about how this woman was almost trafficked in new york city and it literally reminded me of the story and i was just like oh my gosh what if that was their intention like i highly doubt that was their intention but bruh what if that was the because if that was their intention that means we were targeted because it is just too much of a coincidence that they would come to our door knowing my dad's a pastor well not even not even necessarily that they knew my dad because they never mentioned him by name or anything they never even asked for him they just asked for prayer you know they're gonna go to you know the house of well apartment of a preacher and there's four of us girls like there's five of us you know my brother me and my three other sisters three others three sisters so if that had been their intention that means we were targeted which is like really creepy to think about i mean maybe they were just random weirdos maybe she really did need prayer and i'm a horrible person <sighs> but that was such a weird experience and i'm just like who comes to somebody's door randomly asking for prayer and puts their business out like that? You know, it'd be one thing if they just said, you know, she's going through a lot and she needs prayer. But it's a whole nother thing to just put your business out there. Like he said, she was assaulted and abused by her boyfriend. I didn't need to know that. I don't know you people. So that was pretty sketch <sighs> so that's that for that story short not I wouldn't say sweet but short and to the point anywho if you like my face enough you can follow me on the gram or the snapchat 
or the Twitter. I'll link them all below. And I'll see you next time. Bye.